Hi everyone! How are you doing? I hope you are all safe and sound together with your loved ones. Welcome to this episode in DCBS MNHS English TV. I am Sir Larry and again, we are here for quarter 3, week 6 of your learner's packet. In this episode, your most essential learning competency or MELT is Critique a literary selection based on the underlying or overarching issues concerning human experience. Our core content or the enabling competencies are Show understanding of the message of a poem and Interpret the lines of a poem. In this episode, let us discuss moralist approach. This is a type of a literary critique that judges the value of the literature based on its moral or ethical teachings. Its concern is not only to discover meaning, but also to determine whether works of literature are both true and significant. It is used to determine whether a work conveys a lesson or message, and whether it can help readers lead better lives and improve their understanding of the world. And using this approach, literature that is ethically sound and virtuous is praised, while literature that misguides and corrupts is condemned. One of the world's renowned moralists is Robert Frost. He is an American poet who was known for his depictions of rural New England life, his grasp of colloquial speech, and his poetry about ordinary people in everyday situations. In our development phase, read the poem written by Robert Frost and find out what is responsible for the action he has taken. You are all familiar with this poem as this is also from the previous episode. This is The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood. And sorry, I could not travel both. And be one traveler, long I stood. And looked down one as far as I could. To where it bent in the undergrowth. Then to the other, was just as fair, and having perhaps the better plain, because it was grassy and wanted wear, though as for that the passing there had worn them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay, in leaves no step had trodden black, Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. For your learning task 1, after reading the poem, answer these questions. Write your answers on a sheet of paper. 1. Why is the poem entitled, The Road Not Taken? 2. What attitude of the speaker is revealed by choosing the road less traveled by? 3. What do you think would have happened had a traveler made a different choice? 4. Does this choice influence his behavior in life? Why? 5. How would you decide if you were in the same situation? And last, recall a time when you had to make a difficult decision. 
Do you think you made the right choice? Was the outcome favorable or not? For the engagement phase and your learning task too, answer the following questions and write your answers on a sheet of paper. 1. What is the moral conveyed in the poem? Is it explicit or implicit? Explain. 2. What does the poem say about human nature when it comes to decision making? 3. How does this poem remind you of the personal choices that you made before? 4. In your point of view, do you think the speaker in the poem is happy about his choice? Why or why not? And 5. What are the chances that the speaker will get to come back and try the other path? For your learning task 3, you are going to compose a short essay about a time when you had to choose something over another. Tell about its outcome and how it affected you. Please be guided with the rubric when writing your essay. We have two traits for your rubric. First, focus and details. And second, organization. The highest point for each trait is four points. While the lowest point is one point. In the assimilation phase, again, these are the things that you have to remember about moralism. Moralism has a tendency, rather than a recognized school, within literary criticism to judge literary works according to moral, rather than formal principles. In moralism, the importance of literature is not just its way of saying, but also what it says. And the larger purpose of literature is to teach morality and to probe philosophical issues. This is your assessment from this episode. Learning Task 4 Explain the following lines from the poem considering the realities of life to support your explanation. 1. Explain lines 2 to 3. 2. Lines 4 to 5. 3. Line 6. 4. Lines 7 to 8. 5. Lines 9 to 10. 6. Lines 11 to 12. 7. Lines 14 to 15. 8. Lines 16 to 17. 9. Line 19. And the last, line 20. For your reflection, the learner communicates the explanation of their personal assessment as indicated in the learner's assessment card. Next, the learner, in their notebook, will write their personal insights about the lessons using the prompts below. I understand that... Next, I realize that, and the last prompt, I need to learn more about. Before we end this episode, let me share you something. Life is about choices. Some we regret. Some we're proud of. Some will haunt us forever. We are what we chose to be. Until the next time, in this episode of Grades and English, only here at DCBS MNHS English TV. Goodbye everyone and happy learning!